It's girl talk, but Carrie, now don't kill me if I, I want to wish happy birthday to Madison Maduri. Her mom's a big smile, Jamaica fan. Tasha McDonald Madison is nine. And I have to say happy birthday to Lorna Reed, my other mommy, <laughs> all the kids, Carrie, Frika, Joseph, and you know my honey Ken. We have to say good morning to you, my love. Happy birthday. It's a milestone. And with that said, women make milestones out of most things in a relationship while the men and the like generalize some men really <laughs> just count anniversaries so today we're telling you what msn lifestyle says about the milestones that women definitely recognize and see if we agree but i usually agree to find people them <laughs> first time you wear old underwear I'm telling you, there's some foreign people things this is not called Jamaica people. First of all, Jamaica people, no, subscribe to all underwear. We show it out quick. <laughs> because I'm going tell you, if you meet an accident, one thing you must make Remember? sure is so your underwear stay good. So I'll never not, forget that. So we call you to subscribe to them something oh. that your mother will tell you, say, no, make sure you don't know what happened to out the road. Mm -mm. When you ditch the oh so sexy lingerie in favor of comfortable briefs, it means more than most think. What it mean? But the mean, it means it means it. So means all it, doesn't mean means your partner's gonna go to sleep much earlier than he normally <laughs> does. That's what it means. But the what? comfortable the, what? the comfortable briefs are good as well. Not all, but comfortable. Meaning, you know them, like, you walk around with but your t-shirt. But why is that a milestone? What is it saying? It is saying I'm now comfortable because early in the relationship, or, or does you're it not say wearing me not that. try hard enough. No, it's saying that I'm so comfortable. That I that can wear this I can wear you. this on some days and this on some days. But before, you wouldn't wear these at all. Around. Ladies, not do it. So all the pasta Please the preach, don't yeah, do, say, it. Not do it. Not do it. This next one says what? Saying no to plans, relationship milestones don't always have to be big moments. They can be as simple as a single word, no. When you're new to a relationship, you may not want to appear difficult and say yes to most things. Hmm. You don't want to rock the boat. With that in mind, saying no actually shows real security. All right, so this is so. where me and people differ now. Because you see, this is why after marriage people say, Are oh, you know, so before we married them never she never used to stay, so mm -hmm. be honest from day get go one. Don't don't so don't say yes to something you really don't want to say yes to and say it's alright, after we married, we can't say no, can I forgot live with it? No. You'll regret it later. No. Say no if you feel like saying mm -hmm. no. Tell me any foreign people them can't agree but nothing. Letting out your crazy side. Yeah, man, that's another thing, man. Hey, woman, hey, woman, good in a man. You see all them carry them out for eat? They make sure I say them eat before them go out, you know. So the man order food and him say, hey, me love that girl, you know. She don't even eat plenty, me I tell you. <laughs> me I tell you. And you say when they married and go home, grocery bill would have kill him. Every week, he must have been understand how oh, you buy so, so much food. <laughs> I wish she start me so much. She didn't yam so before. Oh, yeah. God. Let's not your crazy side. Well, Stephen, no Empress crazy from, from day one. From day one. That moment when you let out your true self is seriously significant. It means you've entered a new phase in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It should have been the first phase though. No, it's, I think, and this is the next thing. Yeah. And this is just from experience. And you know, when you start off with somebody, they need to see all of you. It's important. They need to, you cannot put up a front because it's gonna come out later and bite you. You need to see the crazy. And that's all about building friendships. I can't think it's like, but you work together. So you don't know them. At work, you're not putting on a front. You're who yeah, you are. Yeah, yeah. So you either gotta work with the person or you have to be friends and this you is know? where you find people say oh she changed mm -hmm. or he changed they never change just so they missed all along or identify the things because you see where you get married and you're complaining and about the crazy something let out at no, that wait, time. no you, you, you wonder oh him so crazy and then you say but hold on you did crazy day one with me too but me never expect so you're gonna stay crazy <laughs> So anyway, yes, let out your crazy side so we all know. But people, remember this. When you marry somebody, you cannot change. Things, certain things change. 
Yeah? Your wife, you become one. So your wife becomes first. Man must die for his wife. That's what happens. Mm. Women must love and protect and be there for their husband. Things change. But when you're married crazy, crazy is going to stay. Crazy Vice doesn't versa. go. Crazy, crazy doesn't, doesn't go. go. And you want somebody right. who loves you for your crazy. Yes. You really do. There's one thing I want to talk about, letting your crazy side out. Like, um, to pass gas in front of your partner before marriage. Empress, we talked about this two Should, weeks ago. No, no, no. Can, what do you say? I wasn't here. Say, so women, what are we talking about? Women say, some of my name is like, I said, no, ladies, do not do it, do not do it. No, no, do not do it. Oh, no, that part. No. Don't do it. So what you, you're going to fart in front of your... It's your... called pass gas or flatulence. What are the word name? <laughs> no, no, I can tell you, my if dear. A man, if a man love you, though, after that, let me. Well, let me tell you something. He's a keeper. I'll never forget. I'm not gonna call her name out. Um, my cousin MC, my cousin in law. Wow, that's hard to find. My <laughs> my cousin in law MC said to me one day before we got married. You know, I'm not married. Cause you know, past gas. <laughs> Even if you know, say you're real. <laughs> Never ever. Well, my husband could tell you this. I and I, Empress, does not do. We don't do things like that. They in a state of buckling up. In a pass out. You know why? You know why I love this girl talk, especially when I see you and Simone do it. There's some real things that we're so of afraid course. to talk about as human beings, we have to and talk we have to be. Them. You know, it's it's it, it's part of how we have to talk about them. It's how we survive. Sometimes it's we put liberating. things. It is liberating. And look, I tell you, if the any man was there with really you after that, love him. Can I? I do, First, would that, you like to hear me burp and talk? It's something I actually. Used not, to not, do this morning, not this morning. Not this morning. <laughs> not this morning. Not this morning. Um, not me, Mary. Yeah, not this morning. Fourth point. You know we have ten points and we know reason number four. First time you put yourself first. Mm, mm. Putting a new partner first is natural, but as a relationship develops, it's healthy to have a balance. When you realize this, it shows a new level of maturity in a relationship. Um, put yourself first. It's kind of... It's tricky. It's tricky because most of us put the children first. Hmm. And, and I speak to a lot of mothers, a lot of women in relationships. We put everybody else above us. And what happens is you reach a moment of breakdown and meltdown, trying to create this so-called balance. And I always say, there is no balance. It is juggling. But if you're not right emotionally, especially, let me tell you, especially when you give birth and you're juggling as women, we juggle a lot. And I think we juggle a lot more when it comes to the family than mm. men, the majority of us. Um, no apologies, the men are doing a lot, but we as women, we're emotional beings. And we're trying to control that and deal with that. And we forget our own emotional well-being. Mm. And at some point you break down. And all the women watching, if you haven't gone in your bathroom and bawled your eyes out, sat outside with a glass of red wine and bawled your eyes out and said, I just can't let it. <laughs> then I don't know if you're real. All right? Girl talk, real talk. <laughs> well, you have to put yourself first sometimes, Sometimes, really. because sometimes. Because if mommy not good and wifey's not good, yeah. how is the family going to be good? People like to use the example of an, of an airplane. You know, they tell you, put your, your oxygen mask on first. Oh, yes. So you're able to help everybody else. Yes. You have to do that. that, to do that. so true. Um, but, point number five, when you no longer care in a good way, are you feeling stressed about what your partner thinks of you? The answer is no. That could be a positive sign. Mm. Worrying about what a date. <laughs> Cause when you know, no, can we no longer care? Should he care? If you hmm. not care. Hmm. Should he care? Well, I think So you can just say, me not gonna call me here this morning, but me not gonna call me here Saturday. Me not gonna meet in my house, so me not come here for. No, I'm not that part. brush my teeth. No, that I'm part. I'm not have to. No, no, no. You not brush your teeth. No. No, but here you're sharing space with another human being. Well, in a well, it, well, another way of looking at the not caring is not caring what he thinks about you. Meaning, I think 
if interpretation could also be you don't care you're not so more like does he like me does he love me oh. and i i think we all go through that and this is in relationship 101 so you're more secure then you're more secure so you're not waiting or wondering or okay. asking because of how they act okay but we all speak different love languages mm -hmm. right as humans and so it's important for the women and the men to reassure their partner yeah. about how they feel periodically. Take that time out to keep it alive. Mm -hmm. Because you sometimes, especially when you're going through other things, you need to be reassured and heard that, yeah, I really do love you. In action, some people speak in action, yeah. some people speak it out. Words. So mm -hmm. yeah, so let's, you know. No, that mercy, Benji, so we have, we have a wrap up with us, point five. Your first vacation together, while many men don't realize that the first vacation together is like a big deal to most women, it, it really is. It is. It is. Um, meeting the parents and friends, mm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. When a man introduces you to his friends and parents, it's it. it is a colossal moment. Mm -hmm. Meeting those closest to your new guy is no small feat. Mm -mm. So, not worrying what the parents and friends think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, enough said. Mm. First time he uses a pet name, oh! My little munchkin. I wish man talks so. Men talk so sometimes. <laughs> they defining the relationship. <laughs> May I cook? Oh, have you defined? Oh, we get some. I right? mean, I think I ten point about twenty. I'm impressed. Defining the relationship. Have, have you defined yeah. the relationship? Me tired to tell the woman them every Tuesday. Define the relationship. First of all, ask. Are we in a relationship? Are we not? Are we not in a relationship? Then define <laughs> the nature of the relationship. Mm -hmm. Because when everything are tumbled down and the man say, mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know she had to come here, she mm -hmm. never there. Mm -hmm. I mean, see me here, she never there, and she said five years in a day. Yes. No? Yes. Where does friend, I don't know where she get that from. Yes, maybe we need to make them write it and sign the contract. Or at least let them say it. So are we in a relationship? Yes. What's the nature of the relationship? Mm -hmm. We're there? But let's and if him say, well, what they mean? Yeah. Go on about your face. Yeah. Name. yeah. Him, so when you say that, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. you That's when you leave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go on about your business. Seriously. But ask the question. Sometimes Empress, we don't yeah, want to ask the question because we don't want to get the answer. And so we're afraid of the answer. So when you know the you know you're the man, you're not done for five years, you sit down there, fool yourself. Ask, man. Well, well, the next thing is. Boy, I don't even want to go there. Benji, you're confused. Me tell me we have three minutes more. Now you tell me to wrap up. Benji, come let the people see you because some oh, yeah, tell us all day long. Daily has been calling your name all morning. I want you to step forward and tell me what kind of relationship you two have. <laughs> me and Benji? No, sir. Moving on. You can't say things in front of Arrow Empress. Oh, yeah. sorry. Come on, sorry, come on sorry. man. <clears throat> First, talk about the future very important mm. talking about the future mm. means their stability and um yeah it's a meaningful moment mm -hmm. so that first double date it's a double date so like you and steven go out with mia arrow oh well that's of course so they don't arrow not appear <laughs> actually <laughs> Everyone wants to know who is her. They let's, know who. Let's not we turn the camera. One woman tell me say, Delia, him name Aram me say she say miserable for true. <gasps> oh really? <laughs> yes. When we launch the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs> watch him. Watch him. Watch him. <laughs> no, this is a milestone. I don't know if it's a milestone because we make it too big. Men may not want to do it. Him buying sanitary products. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with that? So I don't know if it's a milestone. Because if it's a milestone, you well, no, tell you know what it is? And I'm gonna say, <gasps> no, I you know, no, I think Just it's a bite. milestone because you wouldn't, in the early days, you probably would ask never him ask to him. Buy. Yeah. Mm. When you become comfortable now. To tell him to go buy. Mm -hmm. But many, don't, it's not a big deal. If, it's if not a big deal. If somebody asks you to go buy. Just go get it. Like, hello. It's like buying paper towels. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this one now. The first public hand holding. Ooh. That's when you know. Ooh. But you know, I want he's claiming you. He's claiming you. Yes. Yeah, when he's out there every minute with you and, you know, yes, holds your hand. You. But you know what I'm not into? I mean, I kind of. I've never been a fan of people who kissy kissy and smother each other when you're sitting there. I'm so uncomfortable with it. Really? Like that public. 
you, you just PDA. everybody in a public display of affection. And you are sit down there. Like, you're gonna come off no more. You can't go home and go do it. That is too much. You wanna take it too far. I'm not like some of my friends understand when I'm around. Just please up, man. Come on, it's a nine. And then it just annoy me. I don't mind it. No, seriously. I them don't all, mind them it. all over each other, and you're there as a third person. You must show some. You don't mind because that's what you do. <laughs> Whenever I'm around and Mr. Man is ben next to break, break, break. Ben just said this was going to be a good one. I hold hand and I want to kiss. Yes. Like, the pecker one, not the long talking, just the love you, babe. <laughs> but the whole. Empress and not the long talking. Ah, oh, man. What kind of it's PG world we live in here? What's <laughs> appropriately, man? The last point him adding your friend on social media. Mm. You're scrolling through your new feed. No. Your new partner's added your bestie. Yeah. Okay. That's not bad. Okay. It 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 it, it could be good unless he has another profile. <laughs> <laughs> unless he has another profile. So. Ooh, hey. mm. Mm. That's girl talk. That's girl talk. <laughs> what a day.